Okay guys, so I've kind of skipped ahead with the imposter joke and Batman and I've gone ahead and painted him purple as you can see there and that's going to come out really good Now I went to a couple of stores to find some purple paint and every store, craft store I went to did run out for some strange reason it was really weird So what I managed to get was some tester paint from my local locals and it's taken a few coats to adhere to the plastic I did think about uh, priming him first but I thought I'd just go ahead and give him a few coats and it's come out quite nice and then I mix some green paint and I'm just painting the coal green at the moment so let's start from here and paint the coal green So again I've skipped ahead slightly and um, just using reference photos from the 616 scale uh, Joker Batman Hot Toys. Just been using reference photos and I've got the skull there in the spades. Then on the other foot I've got the smiley face. And then moving up I've got the ha 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 on his top of his boot. And then using red paint I've got the ha ha's up his leg. And again, on his gauntlet there, and then I've gone ahead and painted the pouches green. And again, using reference photos, I've put the spades, hearts, the cross on the buckle, the clubs and diamond. And again, moving up, I've done the ha-ha's on his, on his side, and then I've painted the Batman emblem yellow and then using a red sharpie handwritten joker it's not exactly accurate to the one on the Hot Toys figure but this is kind of my own version because again the purple isn't exactly the same colour as the Hot Toys again using reference photos I've got the smiley face on the back of the cowl and all in with the Blood heart on the back of the cowl as well. And then on the side of the cowl, I've got the diamonds, heart, spades, and clubs. Again, all using reference photos. And got the star there on his temple. And again, just using a black Sharpie marker, I wrote damaged on the top of the cowl. And then moving around, I've got the J under his left eye. Okay guys, so originally I went ahead and used a red sharpie pen and painted a smile onto Batman's mouth and to be fair, it just looks like he's wearing lipstick. So what I'm going to do is go over that with some primer and then I'm going to paint the whole mouthpiece white and then go ahead and paint a proper clown smile, very much similar to one I did on his foot, as you can see there. Try and get the light there, as you can see there. Similar to that, onto his face, so it actually looks like a proper clone smile. So let's go ahead and spray paint. Okay, so now the primer has dried, and as you can see there, the red Sharpie pen has come through. So I was thinking. I could either give it another coat of primer or go ahead and you see white paint. Now I do have white acrylic paint, normal paintbrush paint that I was sort of thinking about painting on but I also have Rust-Oleum's acrylic spray paint. So I'm going to give it a spray with that and see if that covers up the red Sharpie pen and then 
go from there. If not, then I might go over it with the acrylic artist paint and see what's best. So let's see what happens. Okay, so the primer and the white spray paint both didn't work for some reason. Unbeknownst to me, they just didn't mix. I don't know if I just uh, I didn't leave the primer to dry for long enough, even though it says it's quick dry, but it didn't work, so I had to wipe it all off with a bit of cloth, and I've gone over it with some with the white acrylic artist paint, and I'm leaving that. I'm gonna have to give that a second coat. Pretty much what I did with the rest of it, because I didn't spray, uh, I didn't prime any of the figure itself. I just painted straight onto the figure and as I can just see there I just wipe some freaking white paint onto his emblem so I'm going to try and wipe that off uh, so yeah the green for the cowl that took about two or three coats the purple for the bodysuit the yellow pretty much and the green there everything took two or three coats apart from the ha 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 that was just one coat but yeah the green for his boots that took a couple of coats so I'm going to let this dry my only problem at the moment is the fact that when I was spraying it has gone on to the green this isn't a green that I bought I've had to mix the colors together to get that green so I'm gonna have to mix the colors again to try and get that that shit oh, for crying out loud just want some white paint as you can see not dry yet just wiped it off his chin but yeah I'm gonna have to uh, mix the colors again to get that shade of green for the cowl try and get as close as possible just to touch up the edges of the curl itself so yeah touch i'll touch up his chin leave that to dry and then give that two more coats of white and then go ahead and paint the smiley clone face onto his lips okay guys so i've used the artist white acrylic paint to paint the face of, of Batman and his lips. I managed to cover up the red Sharpie pen that he used originally for the smile, which looks absolutely atrocious. I've also managed to mix some more green paint that matches the green that I'd already painted the cowl to touch up the edge of the cowl. So next I'm going to attempt to draw a smiley face onto the mouth. I've been looking at images on Google and I'm going to attempt something like this. I feel that's quite scary as well as uh, a smiley face. Or oh, something like that or something similar to that. But as you can see my point of view, the black, instead of being black, will be red. A red background instead of black. But I do like the idea of the pointy teeth or Something like that with plenty of teeth with the mouth closed. So that's the next thing I'm going to attempt using that reference photo onto the mouthpiece. Let's see how it goes. So I've gone for this smiley smiley face with the scary pointy teeth, and what I've done is copied it onto Batman's face. You can see that with the light. There you go. Just use pencil at first, and now I am going to glue it in using paint. Okay, so I've just painted on the lips, and I'm already more than happy with it. As you can see there. All I need to do now is get the fine tip paintbrush. Wash that. Wash the red off and go over the pointy teeth with some black and go around the red also with some black paint on it with a fine uh, paintbrush and it will almost look identical to that and we'll pretty much be done with the mouth and the creepy smiley grin okay guys so that's the creepy joker smile that looks almost evil uh, now done and just need to wait for that to dry add the cape and that is the figure more or less done ready for the final reveal
this is the template I've made. Uh, I put uh, masking tape around the bottom of the cowl where it drapes over his shoulders and then cut out the shape and here I am marking it onto the material for the cape. So here I'm attaching a piece of ribbon to a sharpening pen and I'm going to be using that to draw the half circle for the shape of the cape. Okay guys, so that's the cape now done. Nice little half circle using the ribbon and the black sharpie pen. And all I need to do now is to glue it to the figure itself, ready for the final reveal. Ha ha ha!